here in Miami, Lone Depot Park. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Seattle Mariners taking on the Miami Marlins. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. So the Miami Marlins are in position to sweep this three-game series with a win. So, Chris, what's their mindset heading into today? Yeah, looking to go three for three, Boog. They've already won the series, and now they can really leave their mark. It's all about having confidence, and that's what a team takes away from a sweep. So they're happy to win the series, but they'll really be riding high tomorrow with a win today. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And towing the slab here, Pablo Lopez. What do you got on him, Chris? Perhaps one of his best outings of the year last time out. Worked deep into the ball game, only gave up three hits. Today, he's going to try to do the exact same thing. Okay, all set to go. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Billy Hamilton. The left fielder, number four, Billy Hamilton. And a pitch. That's in there, and we're off and rolling in Miami. First pitch, 111. The wind of the pitch. That one misses, and that's ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Next offering is fouled back. One, two now. And that one cutting but missing down low. Swing and a miss and a change up in the dirt. And it beats him for the first out after the drop third strike. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it. And that part, you can get on the inside part of the plate as well. The next oh, offering out. misses. And now 2 and 0. Oh. No score just getting started top of the first. And the pitch. And there's a ball. Three ball, one strike. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. He can't get there, and that should be extra bases. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. One out, runner at second. Ty France up next for the Mariners. In there for strike one. Lopez, he has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. Now he breaks his bat. Over to Cooper, two away down. And now we check out the Mariners lineup. Getting guys across the plate, not exactly a forte for them this year as their offense is in the bottom third of the league and runs scored. Boogie becomes extremely frustrating, and then what happens is guys press, especially in run scoring opportunities and situations. And on top of that, I mean, you really make it harder on your pitcher. He feels like he's got to be perfect to go out there and win a ball game or at least 
to put the team in a position to win a ball game. So they've got to figure out a way to relax, get those runners across when they have them on, and especially when they're in scoring position. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash, and because of that, confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him. That a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. One left for Seattle. On to the bottom of the first. No score. Bottom of the first. And now for the Marlins, Brian De La Cruz. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much being able to have a laser like focus slow everything down stay right in that moment pitch to pitch execution and focusing on that catcher's mitt. Next offering is in for a strike. Down to the dirt swing and a miss gets him one away on a drop third strike. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Ripped on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. As we take a look at Don Mattingly's lineup for the Marlins. In that five spot, a guy that's been struggling a little bit, Abasail Garcia. Anytime he's tasked with facing a left-hander on the mound, it's a tough assignment for him. I mean, he's hitting under 200 against Southpaws this season, so maybe it's even a little surprising to see him in the lineup for this one. Here's what he's got to do. He's got to make adjustments, and he's got to make them from pitch to pitch, because otherwise, he's in a big hole right now, and this lineup needs it. Jorge Soler stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Two down, nobody on. On the ground, right side. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. And that is the third out of the inning. Miami down in order. Scoreless after one. Second inning set to go. Now here is Jared Kellner. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. There's a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. The wind and the pitch. And that's outside. Gary Simmons, our plate umpire today, sort of has a reputation as a pitcher's umpire. Yeah, a little bit of a wider zone than most, I'd say. And a wide zone can be tough to deal with as a hitter because you have to start expanding what you're looking for, covering both sides. And with the stuff guys have today, you're just not going to have a lot of success. Next pitch is downstairs. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see these guys a lot. Yeah, but these guys are all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think over time, you can develop a relationship with some of these guys. Tosses to first, one out in the second. The catcher, Luis Torrens. Luis Torrens getting ready to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Second inning here, no score. Next one misses, and the count is one and one. Swing and a ground ball out to short. 
to first. Two up, two down at the top of the second. And here is Abraham Toro. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Solaire heading to the alley. Makes the grab on the run. And that is that. Mariners are down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at the ballpark. Bottom half of inning number two. And now here is Jesus Aguilar. Gonzalez back to work ball in the one, dirt ball one slice to right can't get there and now maybe extra bases now he'll turn for second and he's got a leadoff double he needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And now, Abasail Garcia, two for That's 10 in the good. series. The right field. And Garcia Go. gets a piece. No score here in the second. Up the middle, Crawford handles the chance. Not in time, he legs it out. Tough play up the middle, and everything needed to be right there. Feel that, get a strong throw off to first base, and I think the speed going up the line had something to do with it as well. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. That one to first. Nice stop to Crawford for one. And they get him easily at first. It's a double play. First and third, nobody out. You're thinking you've got it lined up for a pretty big inning right here. So that double play is pretty deflating. They get the run in, but now they're starting all over. Two outs, base is empty. And here is Ryan Anderson. Third baseman, Ryan. That Eight. one's in there, 0 and 1. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Next offering in the dirt, and it's one and two. Pitch misses inside, two and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in, wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Popped in the air, left field, and he makes the catch. And that ends the inning. We play two full. It's the Marlins one and the Mariners nothing. Welcome back. On to the third inning. And stepping in for the Mariners, J.P. Crawford. The shortstop, J.P. Lopez back to work. And yeah, there's the strike. Next offering is in for a strike. 
Well, he didn't like those first two pitches now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. Next pitch is outside. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And here it comes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. You know, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. Swing and a ball popped up. Rojas in position. Puts it away for the out. Batting nine. The center fielder, number 25, Dylan Moore. Here's Dylan Moore. First offering misses the mark. Next one in the dirt. One down, base is empty. Swings here and blasts one left field. Way back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. An absolute blast to left. And we are starting over. It's tied at one. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrists to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. So the lineup flips over. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Billy Hamilton. Let off the game with a strikeout. Going one. Next pitch misses inside, and now it's even one and one. And strike two. Tied up here in the early going. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. And there's two gone following the strikeout. Second baseman, Adam Frazier. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Adam Frazier. Doubled his first time up. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The 1 0. Just oh, missed. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. The why to kick the pitch. In the air, left field. Solaire sizes this one up, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. <laughs> And that is that. But a run scores in the inning as this solo home run ties things up. All even at one apiece. And welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third and at the plate for Miami, Jazz Chisholm. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Oh. 
and a foul ball. And he deals. Got him. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Now this pitching staff has been merciless against him in this one. I mean, he struck out six done. times in this Good series, catch. and we've Come seen on. no adjustment out of him so far. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Nick Fortes. In there, and it's 0-1. Hold it one now. Aye. Stays alive. And he'll two. On the ground right side. Sneaks through. Base hit. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now here is Brian De La Cruz. Struck out swinging leading off the bottom of the first. Next pitch downstairs and it's 1-0. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. And a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Well, that was an important at-bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now a huge at-bat in this game coming up. Now at the plate, Miguel Rojas. That one fouled off. Oh, one down. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Next pitch is outside. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. That's a base hit. And they hold the runner at third, but the bases are loaded now with one out. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Nice job going the opposite way with it, letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Solaire, up to bat next, lays off for a ball. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. The lefty, the one-on. That's ripped into the outfield. And that one is out of here. Jorge Soler goes deep. It's his eighth home run of the year, and it gives him the lead in the third. It's 5-1.
One big swing, and that turns the tables on this one. And when you come to the plate with the bases loaded and you've got some pop, you know it's hard not to think about the chance to hit a grand slam. And that can be a trap sometimes, but not right here. He sees the opportunity, put a great swing on it, and now they're working with the lead. So now here's the DH. Jesus Aguilar, ninth in the National League at RBIs. And that's in there for strike one. Well, it's easy to be satisfied and get a little distracted after a grand slam, but there's still a lot of work in this inning to do, and you can really deliver a knockout blow. Still only one out here in the inning. That misses, and it's one and one. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. The pitch. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And a pitch. And a ball evens the count. And that one missing low. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. And he's got his second double of the game. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. A couple of doubles today for the DH. One down. Abasail Garcia digs in now. Now that the right fielder. That Up hits the, the dirt. Ball one. Garcia. One and oh. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. Aguilar, the runner at second with one away. Next pitch misses outside, and it's two and one. Check swing, tried to hold up, now an appeal to first, and he went around. That's ruled the swing. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Hamilton brings it in. Out number two. Now that first baseman, Garrett. I don't wear my cape and now Garrett so Cooper. You clean the house. Do you think that's just a statement? Then you ludicrous like it's word of mouth. I knew to what I'm about. Excuse me, miss. Like, what's your name? And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Some activity in the Mariners' bullpen. Drew Steckenrider up and loosening in the pen. Swanson getting cranked up as well. Man on second, two down. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. And it's a ball and a strike. Runner at second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. One and two now. This one in the dirt. Runner leads away at second. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt in time so the drop third strike doesn't hurt him and that's that marlins add four on the grand slam it's now a 5-1 ball game start of the fourth and now ty france 
The M's in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Here comes a pitch. In for a strike. Strike one. All one's the count. Next pitch is inside. And one and one. Next offering is in for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. One down. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. In there for strike one. And he'll one. And that misses off the outside edge. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Here's a 1-1. Backed off the plate that time. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. That one the other way. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. The batter, number 10. Designated hitter, Jared. Two outs, base is empty. And now for Seattle, Jared Kellner. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. He blasts a souvenir into the second deck, and they inch closer. It's 5-2. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Luis Torrens will hit next. Now batting the catcher. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And the 1 0. This one in the air, right field. Garcia makes a move towards the gap and makes the grab. And that'll do it. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's 5 2. I remember as a child, music made me smile. Some people called it rhythm and soul. I could never get enough of this kind of stuff because I think they call it rock and roll. But I said, oh, Back here at Lone Depot Park. And now, Brian Anderson. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Owen two as he waves at that one. Not a swing you want to watch again. The 
The 0 2. Got him. And one out now. Jazz Chisholm now. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Yo, one. Slap the other way, foul. Next pitch is inside. One and two to count. The one two. A swing and a soft liner. Makes the catch for the out. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Nick Fortes, the next up for the Marlins. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh, and one. Bounce to the right side. He steps on the bag. Third out. Nothing doing for the Marlins, and it remains 5-2. Back here in Miami, new inning getting started. Now the third baseman, Abraham Toro. The third baseman, number 13, Abraham Toro. And a pitch. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. First offering misses the mark. Ball one, no strike. Toro gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Ball Next three. offering upstairs. Two and oh. Left hand batter waits. And Down another ball. Out. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Hey. There's a strike three and one. Swing and a miss, three and two now. Righty delivers and fouled off. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one away. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3 2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. The center fielder, Dylan Moore. And now the center fielder, Dylan Moore.
And he hits a ground ball right side. Rojas for one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Last half of the fifth coming up. Marlins five and the Mariners two. Back here at the ballpark, here's the center fielder, Brian De La Cruz. And a pitch. Good eye right there. Counts one and oh. The pitch. And a ground ball to first. Takes it himself. And a quick out number one. The batter number one. Miguel Rojas, the next up for the Marlins. And he's already singled in this game. High fly ball down the left field line. Hamilton has this one sized up. Pulls it down and there's two gone. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Stepping in the long ball threat, Jorge Soler. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that one wrapped foul. And now the lefty and a count one and two. Next pitch misses way outside. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That is the inning. And one, two, three, go the Marlins. They're still out in front, 5 2. Welcome back. And stepping in is the speedy Billy Hamilton. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Trying to bunt his way on. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Kicks and fires. And a bunt towards third. And he grabs it in foul ground. Next offering misses. And a count one and two. Next pitch misses. The count now two and two. Next pitch has popped up. Puts the squeeze on that one. One away. Up next is Seattle. The second baseman, Adam Frazier. So digging in, Adam Frazier. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, one's the count. Next offering is in for a strike. Uh, 
Next one off the plate inside, and that's ball one. The next pitch misses, and the count's even at two. The punch out there picks up strikeout number seven. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today, economical with the pitch count. Ty France up next for the Mariners. Good contact guy, good defender. In there for strike one. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Reaching for it and brings it in. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. Marlins five and the Mariners two. New pitcher on now, Drew Steckenrider. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And welcome back. Bottom of the six. And now the DH, Jesus Aguilar. The pitch upstairs. Nope. The 1 0. Nope. That one missed. And that misses upstairs now three and oh so definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly he has it we'll see how this at bat turns out. Aye. In for a strike now three and one. The three one. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Abasail Garcia up to the plate. One for two. In there, and it's 0-1. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Eric Swanson preparing to come on if needed. Munoz, a hard throwing right hander up as well. And that one is lifted in the air. Nice grab on the run. And there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Garrett Cooper, the next up for the Marlins. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Now the 0-1. Hammered down the right side, but foul. Hey. 
And down on strikes he goes. Two away. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Here's the third baseman, Ryan Anderson. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Aguilar, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering is foul back. Oh and two now swing and a miss and he's down on strikes and that will end the inning Marlins leave one and it remains five two. We go to the top of the seventh and now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners Mitch Hanniger. The right fielder. Lopez back to work. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Soler under it. And there's one away. He was all over that first pitch fastball, just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Jared Kellner up next for the Mariners. He's already homered in this game. And that's in there for strike one. Activity in the bullpen. Anthony Bender appears to be warming for Don Mattingly. Hoy warming up as well. On the ground, Cooper. And he picks it up in foul territory. And the right hater deals. Just misses with that one. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Hit hard on the ground to short. Into the outfield. Base hit. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And here's the catcher. Luis Torrens. First pitch just misses. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But you know at the very least if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Next one is off the plate and that's ball two. Next one misses, and that's ball three. Righty to the plate, and that drops in for a strike. In the air, right side, Garcia should have this one. Calls it in, and there's two away. Now batting, third baseman, Abraham. Man at first, Toro. and now it's switch hitting third baseman, Abraham Toro.
Lopez picks no, over he's and he's back in safely. And that one fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. Ball. Ooh. I got one ball, one strike. One one now. To the right side. Chisholm tosses the first out number three. Mariners leave one and the deficit remains 5-2. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Leading off, Jazz Chisholm. You see me coming up, stop. We're about to shut down this old block with the sound. And the right hander back to work. Sliced hard, but foul. Check swing. He went. No balls, two strikes. Pitch. That misses, and the count is one and two. One ball, two strikes, the count. Next one just misses. Two and two. Right handed reliever. Pitch misses outside. Full count three and two. Next offering is foul back. Three balls, two strikes the count. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Payoff pitch. Cut on and missed. Struck him out, and that's the first out. Oh, well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Nick Fortes, the next to hit. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. I got the count. Oh, and two. And he deals. Swings and misses. And now two gone. Well, when you swing through that one breaking ball that puts you up against the ropes with two strikes, you think he's either going to double up or try to blow a fastball by you with the next pitch. And right there, he snapped off another curve. And it was the same result as the pitch before. Back to the top of the lineup. And up next for Miami, Brian De La Cruz. One for three. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The 0 1. In the air, right field. Hanniger makes the catch, and that'll do it. Miami down in order. They're still out in front, 5 2. 
Concentrating my balance, give life a better chance. I'm too involved in God. So the Marlins go with a new arm. Anthony Bender. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Back here in Lone Depot Park. We're at the top of the eighth. Now it's the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The next offering misses. Two balls, no strikes. The wind to kick the 2-0. Strike on the outside corner. That's strike one. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. The flip to the pitcher covering. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And now the center fielder, Dylan Moore. In there for strike one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, now. Well, you've got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And the righty deals. That's down and in. Stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Now two away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. This is Billy Hamilton. On the ground. And a base hit right there. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Adam Frazier up next for the Mariners. Just a slow ground ball this time. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Ty France up next for the Mariners. Singy, he's got a history of coming through into big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure where their clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. First offering misses the mark. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. So two balls and no strikes Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering misses, three balls, no strikes. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. The pitch. 
And he takes a strike. a hitter you don't know what to expect here in the 3 2 if he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1 he'll do it again 3 2 and here it comes that's out to center field De La Cruz has a beat on it and that'll do it Mariners leave a couple they trail at 5 2 So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Sergio Romo. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Back here in Miami, ready for the bottom of the eighth. Stepping in, Miguel Rojas. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. And a pitch. And because yeah. of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. The next pitch misses, and the count is two and two. Next pitch downstairs, three and two down. Kicks and deals. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. So, man aboard, Jorge Soler now at the plate. First pitch, not close. Righty delivers. That's ripped. Base hit. Not in time, he's safe. And it's second and third with nobody out. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. Next offering is down low, and that's ball one. Rojas, the runner at third. Soler stands at second, no outs. On the ground to the left, and that's going to be a double, and it'll score two. Soler around third. He's safe as he gets his hand in. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Righty reliever out of the pen, Andres Munoz. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Number 
So up next, Abisail Garcia. The, batter, the right fielder, Abisail Garcia. And Garcia gets a piece. And it's second. And it's even up. The pitch. And that one a little bit high. No outs. Runner on second. Next one misses. And that's ball three. And ball four to a board. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Cooper in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Action in the bullpen for Seattle. Anthony Misevich getting loose out there. Castillo, the right-hander, also getting loose. Next offering is in for a strike. And one and two. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. At the belt and fires. And now two and two. Liner, base hit. Aguilar coming home. Ball comes home, and he's dead at the plate. Well, clearly being aggressive on the bases right there, trying to add on to that big lead. Credit to the defense, though. Nice execution to cut him down at the plate. Man, it's good to see they're still out there trying to make plays for their pitcher. Two on with one out. Ryan Anderson, the next up for the Marlins. First offering misses badly for ball one. Here comes a pitch. Runners on the move. Swing and a miss. Now the tag at third, and they got him. Bounce to the left side. On to France, and that is the inning. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Marlins 7 and the Mariners 2. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot, James Hoyt. And he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And now it's going to be Mitch Hanniger. And a pitch. A swing and a miss. And that's strike one. Miami's bullpen with some action. Zach Pop appears to be warming for Don Mattingly. Next offering is downstairs. One and one. It's 
swings through that one. Didn't recognize off speed. Thought it was fastball. A little bit out in front. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. This one is crushed. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Mitch Hanniger leaves the yard. His seventh home run of the season. And they're chipping away. It's 7-3. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Here's Jerry Kelnick. Swings through that one, 0-1. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The next offering misses, and the count is one and one. Next offering misses, and the count two and one. Left hand hitter waits. That's off the mark. Three and one. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. The three one. And now it's filled up. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. At the play, Luis Torrens. To first, might be two. There's one. A 3-6-1 double play. The 3-6-1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first, and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect, and right there, they made it look pretty easy. Abraham Toro up next for the Mariners. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. That one carrying. And gone! Abraham Toro blasts one out. His second of the year, and they cut into the lead. It's 7 4. There was a fastball down the middle. I don't think the hitter recognized the pitch, but once he did, was quick enough to get it in play with some authority. He got that up and out of here. Dylan Floro gets the call from the pen, trying to protect this lead. So it's their last chance in this one. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering upstairs. Check swing, tried to hold up. Now it appealed to third. And yes, he offered at it. Just one out away, try to close it out. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That one's got a chance. Gone! Another one. Back to back homers. Third home run of the season. It's 7 5.
Back to back homers always a special feeling at the ballpark especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Digging in Dylan Moore. Puts it in the air out towards left center. De La Cruz giving chase. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Marlins finish off a three-game sweep here in front of the home crowd. This was pure domination at home. Huge sweep. And now you go on the road. The flight's going to be very enjoyable. Get into the next city, get a nice meal, get settled in at the hotel, but come back ready to play in the next game. See if you can continue this momentum. A 7-5 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.